Hey, you. Thanks for stopping by. When we think of you, chances are one of the first things we think about is how wildly controversial it is. Joe being a protagonist obviously has us seeing, thinking in his eyes, and empathizing with him more than we'd like to admit. And naturally, because of that, there are times where Joe can be seen as a victim of certain situations, whereas the other characters can clearly be seen as the ones that are guilty, depending on the situation. And that in itself can be polarizing among the fan base. Because when you have the main character as a stalker, murderer, and overall creep, some people feel more inclined to empathize with the show's victims in every scenario, while also feeling extra obligated to hate Joe in every context. Even when Joe's tendencies aren't a factor, even when some characters actually are in the wrong, for whatever the case may be. Or at least, that's what I'm finding. This leads to controversial takes, and because we're supposed to see Joe as bad, no matter what, we see, then see characters like Beck as a victim, no matter what. So today I pull a page from Joe's book and choose violence, as I'm going to be talking about my most controversial opinion about the Notorious Romantic. First, I'm going to give you some background. Some people will argue that when it comes to the girls, the whole point of the show is that Joe doesn't care about them on a personal level. That he's obsessed with them, wants to date them, and keep them. That there's no love involved, despite how much he insists that he does in fact love them. Actions, of course, speak louder than words. And his involve stalking, selling their properties, such as their phones and underwear, masturbating to them outside their homes, breaking in to their house, and of course, locking them in a cage. And in the end, they usually end up dead. Some will say that these are all signs of treating a woman like an object more than it is treating them with love. And while I do agree to an extent, I also have a few major disagreements. You see, all of that would be to say that Joe doesn't love anyone and that he can't, it doesn't exist for him. Where I agree is that there's an important distinction to make between loving someone and creeping on them. Joe certainly does a lot of creepy stuff, but it doesn't take away from or invalidate the times where he does show true, genuine love. The two aren't mutually exclusive. In Joel's case, you aren't loveless solely because you behave and express that love in an unhealthy and unorthodox way. The idea that his love is artificial because he's different takes away too much credit. Because mind you, this is the same guy that helped Beck recreate her first kiss, showed her how to stand up to a professor, and took all of the weight off her, of her shoulders so that she could discover herself in her writing, giving us Bluebeard's Castle, which I would consider to be her magnum opus. It sounds like Joe not only gives women what they ask for in the real world, but also takes it even further than that. Is that more than what guys in the real world, or less? I think it's way more, but hey, let me know what the most romantic thing you've ever done for your partner is, and if you think it's better than anything Joe's ever done. Anywho, the point is, he loves them through all of the good things he's done as a partner, and in pursuit of that. He doesn't not love them solely because he happens to also check off to them and invade their privacy. That's a separation between being loveless and just being creepy. Because once he's unorthodox, Joe borders on mentally ill, so obviously his approach to things or just different by his standards. I feel like too many people when watching the show go the extra mile to express their distaste to pay some dues, but that it leads to takes that, to put it simply, just could use a little bit more self-awareness. He does disgusting things that don't even get acknowledged in the show. Like, I still want Joel to explain what he finds attractive about having used tampons in his collection. Panties understand to a degree, but that, come on, but I know he's probably not going to ever acknowledge it because there's just no way to rationalize it in a way that sounds human enough for the Joe that we get in the show. So I guess I'll settle for when Love says that Joe is just earthy, but none of that necessarily deducts from the feeling of love he has for women, not even remotely. If anything, that literally sounds like he loves women a little too much. In book four, Joe says that the most overused and misunderstood word is love, which is why I think he believes if you're not loving someone to love them to the fullest, 
then what are you doing? So I think the white knighting and everything he does stems from his very unorthodox approach to love, which a lot of people don't take into this consideration because they believe that Joel doesn't actually love anyone. But who are we to say he can't love someone? Who are we to say what he actually feels? We shouldn't equate the things we wouldn't do to show signs of love with signs that one doesn't show love, with signs that one doesn't love. And that is my most controversial opinion on Joe Goldberg, that Joe will love you, seriously. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you'd be curious for my second most controversial opinion about Joe. And on my Patreon, I'm going to be doing a video on my most controversial Beck opinion that you won't want to miss. And the best has yet to come. So stay tuned. So, see you all again next time. Goodbye.